Hudson, for me, was an absolute amazing coach. So um, a lot of the time I was in the reserve team, I was in the second team. So I used to stand and watch the first team training and his organisation of training was impeccable, really good. He was very active, he was very involved. And when I was fortunate enough to be asked by him to step up to the first team training, it was just so high tempo, it was intense and it was fantastic. So he, he would, if for example there was a, a, a match on the Saturday, on the Friday he would get us reserve team to replicate the opposition that they were going to play on the Saturday. So if they had a left foot to midfield player that was a good passer of the ball, he would say, Luke, I want you to play like him. Get the ball and spray the ball around and, and we've got to try and stop here. So Roy Hodgson was very tactical. I think with being in Italy, it brought all the sort of tactical awareness in football back to England. Um, and he was brilliant. As a coach, he was great. For me, he was an inspirational guy as well. I really liked him. You know, he was very intelligent, he was very knowledgeable. He was good with people. Um, it was a shame how his, he, how his time at, at Blackburn Road was finished because yeah. when he first came in, it was a whole new re regime that he brought with him on training twice a day, training longer, training harder. Uh, new fitness regimes and it, you know we were jumping over hurdles running through poles it's something that we've not really done before so it was adapting a lot of players that had played for a long time found it very challenging to adapt to his ways and what seems to happen is that people will adapt however when things are working everybody's okay when things aren't going so well people can turn against the regime and against the man that's put the regime in and unfortunately I think that Part of his exit was players start to doubt his regime slightly um, and he wasn't getting the results so he, he, he got sacked. But as a man he was great but he, he, I, saw, I learned a lot from him because what he used to do every morning when he would arrive at training, he would walk around the training ground and shake everybody's hand. He would shake everybody's hand. When he didn't shake your hand, Interesting. you knew um, that you wasn't performing. Um, when he made an effort to say good morning and he would shake your hand and he would look in your eyes, he would shake your hand, he would shake everybody's hand. And if he didn't make the effort to come to you, you thought to yourself, I need to be doing more. Mm -hmm. And it was just a very clever way of making you, making you aware of you need to up your game. Whether you were doing that on purpose, but that's how it felt. It felt that like you'll shake your yeah. hand when you do yeah. it, and if you're not that's, doing it. That's very interesting yeah. actually. Did it have a, any positive effect on uh, the players? Uh, it, is it, yeah. well, I can only speak for me personally, but for me it did. You know, I was, I was 17, 18 years of age when Roy Hodgson took over. Um, and I remember playing against Manchester United in a reserve game at Old Trafford. So I'd just come back off uh, England under 18 duty. I've been playing with Michael Owen and um, Stephen Gerrard. Yeah. Some fantastic players. Very good players. Amazing players, great people as well. Um, and I remember coming back from that and uh, my next, I literally arrived back from international duty and I was playing at Old Trafford against Manchester United. And there was Brian McClare was playing in midfield, I think it was Gary Neville at the time was playing. They had a really good team and I was playing for Blackburn with not so many famous names. But Martin Darlene was playing and Lars Boheen and so some good players. And I had a really good game, everything went well for me. Old Trafford, it was packed, it was great. So after that game, the next day, I remember Roy Hodgson coming up to me and saying, well done last night, son, you were outstanding. And he shook my hand. And I remember thinking, crikey, you know, <laughs> for him to come and speak to me, yeah. I must have done well. Because That's he was inspiring as well. Yeah, so I felt great from that moment and he gave me a great lift. Um, and unfortunately, he, he got sacked from the football club, you know, the following season, or I think it may be the end of that season.